presenter apologizes for not being able to be here in person. He is a <laughs> He is an Emmy and Peabody Award winning uh, performer who will be making his New York stage debut in the public's production of Hamlet this summer, the previously recorded Keegan-Michael Key. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry that I couldn't be there tonight in person, but as this next award is for outstanding projection design, I figured it would be okay if I was here before you as a projection. So tonight we honor the people that enhance the live theatrical experience. Wait, 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 wait I'm here. No, I made it. I made it. I'm here. I'm here. We don't need the tape. Hold on a second. Uh, everybody calm down. Can somebody please tell me what's going on here? Yeah, I'm here live. I got it. I'm good. I got it. You're there. I how are you there? It's, but I made this video and the projection and everything. Okay, well, do, do you want to do the nominees? Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know. What? I didn't know I was going to be there. <laughs> no, go, go ahead, you do it, I guess. No, no, you can do it. You can do it. Don't walk, don't fade out. You can do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can just be so moody sometimes. I... The nominees for Outstanding Projection Design are... Elaine McCarthy, Notes from the Field. Duncan McLean, Privacy. Jared Misochi, Viet Gone. Peter Negrini, Dear Evan Hansen. Peter Negrini, Wakey Wakey. And the recipient of the 2017 Lucille Lortel Award for Outstanding Projection Design goes to Jared Mitsoki via <laughs> I said, gosh, mom, not God. Uh, uh, be be before I uh, get into all the thanks, I, I do want to really uh, acknowledge the Off-Broadway League and uh, the Lucille Lortel Awards uh, for starting this category. Uh, this is a really incredible time and projection, and I want to just applaud the other nominees. I look up to you. I cherish your contributions to our community. Elaine, Duncan, and Peter, thank you guys. You guys are doing kick-ass work, so thank you. Um, I want to thank MTC uh, and South Coast Rep and all, all of uh, the people within uh, who took this script uh, and read it and said how and then said absolutely we have to do it. Um, the creative team that they brought together, uh, Tim McAbee, Jim, uh, Justin Townsend, Shane Reddig, Anthony Tran, uh, uh, was an incredible generous team of people who then allowed me to come in and become as integral into the storytelling uh, as we all saw uh, the potential for. Uh, I also want to thank this amazing uh, Cass, Paco, Ray, uh, Sam, Jenny, John, you brought the essence of this incredibly complex piece that was form bending, content bending, uh, and brought it together in an amazing synthesis. Uh, I want to thank our uh, fearless leader, May Adralis. You are awesome. <laughs> You have brought me on to so many things and you've always demanded that I am the best version of myself and I uh, am indebted to you for the rest of my life. Thank you for everything that you're doing for me. Thank you. Uh, to Kui, uh, oh my God, this guy is just like fearless and he's making the, the most impossible theater happen and bringing us all together. And uh, uh, I, I just wanna thank one, one last person, my beautiful date. Uh, my mom, uh, she, uh, uh, you know, this, this play brought about uh, a lot of co conversations about adversity, about the other, uh, about uh, 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 finding ways to make more accessible and empathetic the other uh, and bring them to the foreground of our community. And uh, uh, I, I had to dig deep and I, I used a lot of what little adversity I've had in my life, which was about the loss of my dad. Uh, and my mom uh, sat there across from him and told me that, look, uh, suffering is inevitable, uh, but it's how we suffer creatively that makes it so damn important so keep doing what you do so thank you mom and let's keep suffering creatively and fight back thank you guys